As you know, I'm a writer and a poet. I have been since 17. I've touched up on many different subjects, over 1,100 poems, so I decided to bring back my column that I started four years ago. Yes, here on Facebook, it's what I call the triple threat A. Ask Andy anything. Inbox me a question that's on your mind about mental illness, relationship, sex, religion, family, death, politics, or life, and I'll post the answer on my wall and notes anonymously. Just tell me the city and state, and hopefully I can be of an assistance. Aventura, Florida. Question 163. Dear Andy, does the bear community discriminate if you don't look, act, or hang with bears, or if you look complete opposite of them? Here's another good question that could be a bit controversial, so I guess I have to walk forward with caution, but remain strong with my point of view, and stay true to what I believe. There are a lot of labels in our community, from pigs, otters, gym bunnies, butch queens, top, bottom, gay, bi, lesbian, sexually fluid, femme, verse, twinks, poly, open, cis, drag, transgender, and sometimes it's like, damn, why do I have to check this off? Is it really that important? It's just a tiny part of who I am. It's kind of hard to keep up, because every time I turn around, there's a new flag. Personally, I try not to put myself in any category, because there is so much more to me than just a label. I wasn't a member of a few bear groups here on Facebook. I remember posting a few pictures on there, getting some nice comments, and then one day I decided to shave my chest. Just curious. I sometimes like to be spontaneous with my look. Cut my hair, dye it, shave it, grow it, grow a beard, go hairless, get a piercing. Not only did they remove me from the group, but I got some really nasty comments in my messenger. It's kind of bothered me and I felt very insecure. You go to a fancy club and they only allow the attractive people to come in first or even at all. I remember going to this bar with a few of my friends and they treated us horribly because most of the people who work there, the answer is bartender security, or even went there were really thin and they looked at us like we were from another planet. I have a lot of different friends that are so different. Body type, different cultures, different personalities, different styles, different personalities, and I don't hang out with them because we are both hairy or hairless. I think to have that mentality is a little closed-minded because they follow it with hooking up, friends, and dating. People should really stop that. There is a reason one of our symbols is an equal sign, and it shouldn't matter what we are, but who we are. But that's just my take on it.